What up, everybody? Everybody, what's up, everybody? In, in, in. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to Technique Tuesday. Boy, do we got a good one for you. We're gonna be talking about Baja Mondes sick finish last night. UFC fight night, Cannoneer versus Gaslam. But first, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you like the content me and Sweet Tea are putting out. Throw some comments down below because we wanna know what you guys want to see from us. And of course, we're trying to get at least 7,500 likes on this video. Now before we get started, not sure where he went, but you know who I need. Sweet tea! Here I am. Hey, man, well, what you doing up there, bro? I'm scanning the dojo for potential threats. You do know it's just me and you here. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> this guy. All right, guys, UFC fight night this past weekend was really sick, especially when you're coming out, you know, right off the bat with a sick finish by Bahamonde, Sweet Tea. Did you check it out? I saw highlights. <laughs> you're always seeing the highlights, Tony. I know, Me too. man. Me I had too. family, friends in town, but you know the whole deal. I saw the highlights, and of course, this highlight littered the internet, and it looked very, very familiar, Wonder Boy. It, it did. It did look very familiar. Yeah. I believe that I... And a few others in the UFC have finished guys. Quite with a, a few others, kick. actually. There's and been quite a few finishes like that. What surprised me the most about this, number one, great fight leading up you know, to the finish. It happened in what, they had like five seconds left? Or it was really close to the end of the fight. Really close to the end of the fight. And obviously, going out there and at the end of the fight, finishing um, his opponent out with a spin hook kick, epic. We're going to kind of go over a little bit how this thing was set up, or was it even set up? Now, what I did immediately following that spin wheel kick as I started looking at your spin hook kick KO mm -hmm. and then I found a video top UFC or every wheel kick finish in the UFC I think was the video I watched and they all had something in common and this it's not surprising. quite what you'd expect that they would have in common and that's what we're going to talk about and discuss today. Let's do it baby! Now let's find out why or why not People aren't doing this one thing and why, is it, why it's landing. Sweet Tan, when did you out here, sir? Now, what was that one thing you were talking about? That one thing that we have not been talking about this whole time, that one thing is or isn't, WB, what is that one thing? The, uh, the one thing? The one thing. The one thing is, are you sure you don't want to tell them that one thing? All right, I'll tell them. If you go back and watch a lot of spinning hook kick KOs, that one thing, drum roll, None of them were set up. Boom! Nothing more set up. Not even when I, I threw my spin hook kick, it wasn't no, set up. No, and, and I said they weren't set up. I mean, they weren't immediately set up. Right. It's not like they were in a combination. Like oftentimes when you hear people talk about throwing any sort of spin, spin techniques, whether it's a spin back kick, a spin wheel kick, a spin hook kick, you want to do something before to disguise, disguise the big spin motion you're about to make before you kick your partner in the head. Out of all the videos we watched, there was only one person that somewhat set it up, and that was Junior DeSantis when he knocked out Mark Hunt. Let's talk about this one thing that the defender isn't doing, okay? Or is doing incorrectly. Well, I wouldn't say it's incorrect, because that's pretty much how you block a circular technique. Anytime a circular, a circular technique is coming, if it's a hook, if it's a round kick, a roundhouse, even a spin hook kick, you block it with what we call an upper parry. Right? You're bringing the hand up, protecting your head. Now you gotta remember in MMA, your gloves, there's not a whole, a whole lot of padding. Mm -hmm. And normally these upper parries are great, especially when you're in boxing, your opponent's wearing a bigger, thicker glove, kickboxing, you can block pretty much your entire head with your big glove. So you get used to blocking like so and expecting that big glove to protect your head. But when you step out there in the octagon, you got this little tiny four ounce glove, which is rock hard to begin with, you know, you don't have a whole lot of padding. So, you're used to bringing that hand up. So, if, even if your partner sees it coming, they bring their hand up. For instance, whenever I hit uh, Gilbert Burns with a spin hook kick, I knocked him down with it, but he blocked it. So, when you're throwing a spin hook kick, you obviously want to hit with the bottom of the foot or even the harder part, the back of the heel. And when I throw it, most of the time when people block, they kind of lean forward or they lean kind of into it. When that happens, you're blocking mostly the calf but this, the heel is still coming through. Sweetie, I'm gonna have you take a knee real quick. 
so I don't have to lift my leg up. I mean, I could lift my leg up there and hold it there for at least a day or two. Now, when people block the spin hook kick, they're bringing their hand up here like so. He's blocking the calf, but the heel is still connecting, as you notice here. Now, one of the prime spots to hit on anybody's noggin is the ear. You see it time and time again with punches. Imagine what a spin hook kick could do, a full-fledged spin hook kick hitting that here. So in order for you not to get hit, you would literally either have to move out of the way or bring both hands up like so. So, sweet tea technique? You have to really modify that block to yeah. block that kick. You, re you really do. So, when I throw that spin hook kick, he's gonna have to bring his both hands up to protect his noggin here. Because if it's just one arm, number one, he's taking the full blow on this one little area, but the heel is still going to connect to either the back of the head or the ear. And that's why it's effective, man. That's why throwing it later on in a round, like you saw this past weekend, Awesome, it was beautiful. Baja Mondez, hats off to you, my brother. Excellent spin and hook kick. Waiting till the later, later on in the rounds to throw it. It was money, bro. Beautiful. Hats off to you, man. And he got the bonus, I'm pretty sure. He did, he got a, <laughs> a little bonus. extra cheese. For sure. A little extra cheese. A little extra cheese to spin. Bro, you know what we've never seen? Sweet Thanks tea. Thanks for interrupting doing. me, man. Sorry, man. Well, you know what we've never seen? Spin hook. Sweet tea doing a spin hook kick. Sweet tea. Here's Sir. a little spin hook kick, man. Power. Fun on a wee, fun on a wee. Hey! Beautiful. Do it, ready? Go for it. Don't you no pull muscle. Oh, 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 oh. What? I want to see that in a fight. Two people, see that's what you don't know. Sweet tea, dust thing that most people don't, right? Add yeah. a little triple kick there at the very I end. I did, hand dude. On the floor. Hand on the floor so I can't get kicked in the head myself but I can kick you in the head three more times. I like it, sweet tea. Sweet tea, excellent one. Tell me what they can find about. Tell me what they need to be doing. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And as always, like WB said, we're trying to get 7,500 likes on this video. So show us some love and hit that like button. And then finally, comment down below what techniques, what things, what stuff you guys want to see later on in the future on this channel. Oh, oh tell them, they go check out our podcast. What y'all doing, man? Check out the podcast. We got a cool, sick sparring video coming up for you this week, so make sure you guys check it out. We love y'all. Catch y'all later. Peace. You got a breath, dude? Got one spoon kick? <sighs> <laughs>